Hello YouTube, today I'm going to try and teach you how to draw noses. Um, I'm sorry about not having a video out last week, but um, we'll start fresh here. Um, so we're going to start with the, the basic shape of a, a face, um, as I showed you how to do two weeks ago. Hopefully that was pretty simple enough. I'm going to start with the line in the middle and then the line across the side. The line down the middle will be where your nose is going to go. And then as I said two weeks ago, the line in the middle is where your eyes are. And then directly in the center of the head. So I went ahead and lowered the, the opacity on the shape so that it's just a guideline for me. And not necessarily what the actual head is going to look like. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of fill in uh, where the eyes might be to help further give me an idea of how or where I want the nose to be. So we'll just draw some eyes. Give it maybe some eyebrows here after this. Just kind of give you an idea. And your nose and your eyebrows kind of neck is like that hollow point where your eyes are at so that's kind of what I drew right there is that where your eyes your eyebrows kind of connect with your nose so I just kind of brought down my brush so that it was wasn't a straight line I mean some noses might be pretty straight but you're never gonna see like a very straight nose so kind of give it some some curve I'm just redrawing it here. Didn't really like how it turned out the first time. You just, you're just gonna keep drawing until you think it looks good. And I put that um, thing on the side there, where the eyebrow met the nose. Now we're gonna try to do a profile. So again, we'll start with the basic outline. I always use this. It's just, it's really helpful. So there's that line again down the center of the face. And there's my eye. And your eye isn't going to be right directly um, against the side of the, the face there. So the bridge of the nose is going to um, indent kind of where the, uh, the top of the eye is at. And now let's go ahead and look at different types of noses because with different people, noses tend to vary, obviously, and there's nothing more boring than having all the, these characters with the same exact noses, and it's also kind of a bad habit. Um, I'm going to be completely honest and say I tend to use the same kind of noses, but I really need to work on giving different shapes. It's more just I'm lazy, which isn't good, but that's kind of the point of these tutorials, right? To help me, but also help you guys, vice versa. So we have a kind of a swoopy nose, kind of a hook nose, and then we have super, super uh, swoopy nose. Just kind of a basic straight nose. Remember how I said earlier, it's it's good to have like a you can have a straight nose, but it still kind of has some curvage to it, like there at the end. It's not just like a a flat pointed. I guess like the one kind of at top is a little bit too pointed, but I don't know. You just want to give your nose some variation. Uh, something like that would not look very good unless it's kind of a style you're going for, which is, I guess, understandable. And you want like something more feminine, it's going to be more soft. Um, it's going to be more curvy than a male's nose. Males can have larger noses as well. 
All right, so now I'm just gonna kind of show you uh, what I do to draw a face like front on. I start with, of course, that little the bridge of the nose there, where the eyebrows meet the or the brow meets the nose, and then I just do two little lines there. It looks pretty basic, um, but once you actually start to shade it, it looks like a nose. Um, because I, th I feel like personally, if you draw the nose out, it's just like, kind of overpowers your picture, like, it's just unnecessary, I, th I feel. You can do a lot with shading, um, and that's what I do, so I'm just gonna take, um, the first layer that I used, and I'm gonna just do a little shading there, um, usually, I just kind of shade right there, but I might do a little bit more here. Let's see now how that kind of looks more like a nose. You can add little lines there, give it more shade. But you don't need the dark black to draw everything out for the nose. You can use shading to give your nose shape. Um, shading can also be a better way to show depth than actual hard lines. You don't really need the lines then in that case if you have a way of showing it without them. And um, the style I kind of use is sort of an anime oriented uh, style, but it's very, like the facial features are very incomplete, they're pretty basic. Um, you don't see too many anime characters with like really intense um, details of the face. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that's about all I have to share with you today. I hope you liked it, and uh, thank you so much for watching.